Hey y'all, it's Jamie, aka the Bag Lady. It is, um, oh, it is Thursday, October 7th. And what I have today is a box that came up a couple weeks ago. Um, actually, let me back it up a minute. So, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka the Bag Lady. Um, I am a part time reseller on Poshmark. Thread up and hopefully the real real um, and my day job currently is a branch manager of um, you know a growing Midwestern bank um, however my last day doing that is tomorrow and I'm gonna move to another area of the bank so that's a little bit about me for those that don't know me um, and yeah I, if you haven't noticed I am a little bit whooped up um, so, back to what I have and the reason that I'm whooped up. Um, I've got a Thread Up Rental Retiree box. This box popped up a couple of weeks ago or maybe early last week or at the end of the week before. I don't remember. Anyway, um, it was one that I hadn't seen before. Um, and myself and, a, and a, another reseller friend we um, got so excited about it, we each ordered one and we were gonna do a collaboration on it to see who got the better box. And we were thinking, because the cost on this box, you got four pieces for $100. Um, so the cost on it was extremely high. We were thinking that there had to be something good in this box, you know? And um, we were we really thought maybe purses, you know, since it was a, rental retiree box and they jacked up the price because um, normally and, and also another reason why we both specifically bought this box it did not say DIY in the title so um, because you know there we all know there's that DIY rental retiree box that pops up and it's 10 pieces and you know eight out of the 10 pieces need some kind of major fixing up um, so I don't mess with those boxes um, so anyway, our box, my box came today and, um, my reseller buddy and her name is, um, Janet Adams and she actually has her own YouTube channel under Bryn Diaz, Bryn, yeah, Bryn Diaz, um, or Diaz, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. Um, like I said, we were going to do a collab, so I reached out, let her know my box came today. Her box, she thought, had come a couple of days before mine, so, you know, it was, we were just waiting on mine. And, excuse me, we were so stinking excited. Um, we really wanted to know what was in the box so bad that we both decided to peek, okay? So, we peeked. Um, and I'm going to show, I'm going to show it to you guys and I'll give you my opinion, my honest opinion. And then I'm looking for feedback, um, as well, because, um, for as bad as my box is, and you will see, I, I think my friend, uh, Janet's box was even a little bit worse, but I haven't, I haven't seen her pieces yet. She's not able to film her video, and that's another reason why we decided not to wait, not to go forward with the collab. We wanted to get, make sure that this video got, got out and warn other potential resellers to beware of this box. Um, you're not going to get any great um, money-making surprises in this box. At $25 per piece, you would think, but no. Uh -uh. You're better off going with the designer box. That's seven pieces for $120. Because this one, no, 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 nope. Mm -mm. But you know what? You you pay to play. Um, so you take the good with the bad. And here's my bad. And yes, I did look at the box. But I put it back the way I found it. So if you all can see that. So the, the most important thing, if this tells you anything, the most important thing out of this box is 
the air pillows. Okay. And I have my little receipt. Nowhere on the receipt does it say DIY. So I thought for at least for $25 per piece, I at least thought I was going to get four kick-ass pieces. Let me show you piece number one. And this is actually the first piece that I pulled out of the box as well. So it is this top. It is by a brand called Saloni. I've never heard of it before. It doesn't mean that it's not good, but I've never heard of it before. So um, it's a size four. And mom, the producer, is over here whispering about how cute it is. And, you know, I was thinking the same thing. Certainly not a $25 piece by any means. And I was thinking, but you know, it's cute. Okay, we're going to keep an open mind on this box until I saw this. Can you guys see it? Yep. Big ass, big ass rip in the fabric. Nope, not on a seam, not fixable. So this blouse can't do a damn thing with it. The next item is a dress. Oh wait, yeah, it's a dress by um, Tanya Taylor. It's a size six um, and actually I did not think that there was anything wrong with this piece per se I mean aside from it being matronly and ugly um, I did not see any real significant damage but I just noticed that all around the neck is all wackadoodle. So I don't know if I can iron it down. Um, and then, you know, there's a spot on the back. I don't know if that's a scorch mark. So anyway, so aside from being butt scratch and ugly, the piece has issues. This next one. Club fucking Monaco. And yes, I said that. Um, and mom just yelled at me for saying the F word. But yeah, here you go. Club Monaco. It's a dress. It's cute. Um, it may possibly be made out of silk. I don't know. I... I was so angry oh and of course the stitching is coming undone oh and there's a giant giant pull over here so anyway club monaco dress with issues there you know I don't even know that I could resell that piece for $25, let alone, you know, double my money, which really, honestly, isn't that what most of us want to do is at least double our money, if not do better? I mean, and again, I realize it's pay to play and I don't mind, you know, taking it up the rear every now and again on a designer box, you know, it happens, but to fla flaunt this box like it's something great and overcharge at $25 per piece, these items should be in the $10 DIY box, not a $25 per piece box. Now, this is the last piece because again, like I said, 
there was four um four pieces to this 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 last piece is the piece that I hate the least um and I was thinking that the saving grace because I don't hate this piece and in fact I kind of liked it and I was thinking it's a size 12 because by the holidays you know probably I there's a good chance that I'll fit into this so I was thinking okay so the box isn't all bad at least I get this sassy little black satin blouse to wear and now as I'm doing this video I see what's wrong with this sassy little nice black satin blouse. Right here it is. And again, it's not on a seam, it's a tear. A tear on the back of the blouse. And they charged me $25. And I know, I've said this a million times, $25 per piece. Anyway, caution, Caution, caution. If this box pops up again, to my fellow reseller friends, do not, do not fall victim as Janet and I did because um, I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff, honestly. Um, and the last time that I had to reach out to ThreadUp about a counterfeit I received, they gave me a hard time about refunding my money for that. Um, so I'm, I really am, I'm going to be taking a, an extended break from ThreadUp. I've got enough inventory around here that I can take a nice long rest and, um, you know, try again something else. I mean, I honestly, I will never buy this box again. So. Again, reminder you guys, it was it was a four piece rental retiree. It did not say DIY. It also didn't say accessory. So I guess I should have known from that that it wasn't gonna be purses, but still, I would have expected four kick ass pieces, you know, at $25, at a cost of goods of $25 per piece. Anyway. I've said enough about my disappointment, um, but on to some good things, you guys. Um, I am down over 40 pounds now. I can say that. I've cleared 40 pounds, um, and I took a leap the other day, and I tried on some clothes that a friend of mine had dropped off for me. Um, I'm sure I told you guys about that. My friend Marianne had the surgery herself last winter and so she dropped off actually a couple bags full of clothing um so i got excuse me i got courageous and i decided to go through the clothes and um anyway most of them are still a little too small which is fine um i was able to pull up all the way up a size 16 couldn't but couldn't quite button it I mean probably if I had laid down on the bed and sucked in and you know all that business I probably could have got them buttoned but anyway um, I was happy enough with the size 18 that actually I was able to, to put on and button up so I am officially down three sizes uh, so I'm really, really happy about that. And um, I've actually even started like purchasing a few things, just like little things, because um, I am slowly but surely getting rid of all of, you know, all of my stuff. I mean, because anything that I currently, any pair of pants that I currently wear today or own, um, I don't even have to unbutton them to take them down. That's how big they are on me. So it's time. Um, I am going to just get rid of everything and slowly but surely refresh um, my wardrobe as needed. And, you know, because you guys know, 
um, I start my new job next week. Well, maybe you don't remember. Or you, you know, if it's your first time watching, you wouldn't know. Excuse me, guys. Um, anyway, I start my new position next week working from home. So, um, I, you know, I can work in my jammies if I want to. So I, I think that, you know, at least for the foreseeable future, my uh, attire is going to probably be, you know, some yoga pants and a t-shirt. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for watching and thank you for listening to me rant and rave about my crappy, crappy thread up box. I apologize if my, if my strong language offended anybody. Um, I, I'm sorry. I do have a potty mouth and when I'm mad, it gets even worse. So Anyway, with that, I'm going to go. Peace out.